All right, I'm gonna call uh, my friends at uh, Comcast and see uh, what they have to say for themselves. See if they'll deny uh, actually blocking my Wi-Fi, or if they admit it, or what. But hold on, let me see if I get to my I kind of believe that that they do. I mean, it, during the pandemic, more people. Are... Good morning, Mr. Comcast Business Services. This message is for GES. Consider your Comcast business account. Please turn on calls at eight eight six six three six zero five 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 eight. Regarding file number three six one zero one four three five. Thank you. To replay this message, press one. The board of the Comcast Business Services. This message is for GDS. Consider your Comcast business account. Please turn on calls at 8866 Regarding file number 36101435. Thank you. The board of the Comcast Business Services. This message is for GDS. Consider your Comcast business account. Please turn on calls at 8866 Regarding file number 36101435. All right, let's give him a call. Six. Hello. Hello. Calls are recorded for um, for training purposes. Um, yes, um, I'm calling about. Um, I saw a, a, a voicemail um, uh, in my phone that apparently I missed um, regarding um, our business account. What's the name of the business, sir? JDS. avoiding the talking to people. Have you visited the Air Marketplace? Visit Upware.com today to learn more about Upware cloud applications that help your business run. Did you know you can pay your business? 
Bill, set up voicemail, activate and manage email, all from your online account. Visit business.comcast.com forward slash my account to learn more. Great customer service. Now watch, watch the attitude when they get the phone. Hi, good morning. Um, trying okay. to figure out what's going on with this account. Okay. Um, and what is, what's your name? Uh, JD, George. Okay. And then what is the address that's on the account? 12251 Southwest 132 Court, Miami, 33186. This business has been devastated from COVID-19. Um, we had let you know that. I spoke to somebody on the phone, uh, tried to make an arrangement. They said no, they wanted the payment in full. They sent someone in to pick up their equipment. And uh, since then, I haven't been able to do anything. I mean, it, it, it has uh, uh, severely affected my business. And on top of that, I have good reason to believe that even my phone uh, uh, and my laptop are being blocked from the free Wi-Fi. That is the only life, lifeline that I have. I'm a 61-year-old man with Parkinson's, trying to save my business, and I kind of feel that Comcast is attacking rather than helping. So I'd like to know if that's a, an actual practice that you guys do, and if I'm actually being blocked. Um, no, sir, you shouldn't be blocked. I, I just see that our account is um, on a pension due to non-pay. I do see that. Right, that's 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 the business that is, uh, um, like I said, has been devastated uh, uh, by COVID nineteen because I'm I'm you know it's just me. Um, if I can't sell, I can't visit customers, I can't do anything. Then <laughs> uh, um, people are not buying. I can't. I have n no way of of pay, making any payments. I've applied for the federal assistance, the PPP, the EIDL. That finally have a lawyer that may be able to get something through that, but. This has been devastating, and, and to feel that a good customer like myself that has been with you from the beginning here, the only time I've ever fallen behind are just because of this problem. And to not only be suspended, I, I when it's, the guys came, I told them, look, I can pay $100, can you? No, they wanted a credit card for the entire balance because they didn't want to work with me, they didn't want to help. And now on top, I know for a fact that my laptop is blocked because the free Wi-Fi doesn't show up on the list of 30 different uh, um, Wi-Fi's that are in this complex in different companies. It used to show up, now it doesn't. I have another device that is not registered through Comcast. I do get the Wi-Fi on that. So my laptop is actively being blocked by Infinity, Comcast, whatever, and, and I feel that's, you know, uh, 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 
an attack. That, that, that's vicious, because why would I be allowed to, be, to use free Wi-Fi when everyone is suffering so much because of this? So th there's no question to that because my phone, I, I do not, it doesn't pop up, doesn't populate when I open the Wi-Fi, and my laptop, it doesn't populate. However, my iPad does. And I don't move, I don't change location. That is the only, the only way that that can be done is if it's being blocked from you guys. So please, uh, um, explain to me what is happening um, what I need to do to actually have a chance at survival, uh, what Comcast needs from me so that I can have a chance at surviving because obviously I don't get the same benefit that everybody else does because I guess because I owe. Of the 62342. What? And then you have a pet. 62342. See, that, that is ridiculous right there. Because at the time it was disconnected, it was two months behind. That's 134 something that I owe per month. That would be $270 total back. Because that's when it was disconnected. Now, all that inflation that is being added to that, I can imagine what it is. I would assume that that is because you guys came to pick up your equipment and they usually give this tiny little receipt that most people lose and Comcast knows that so they automatically add the equipment charges to that account. So please check if they're char trying to charge for equipment that Comcast picked up and I'm not like most people, I do have that receipt. Okay, um, so I don't see an equipment charge on here. Um, okay, so that is... that balance, it would be... Uh-huh. That, that's uh, yeah, I, I fabrication. Know. Yeah, that's fabrication. Because I owe two months. Uh, when, when they came, when it was cut off, I was two months behind. How does, okay. it, how does it elevate to 600 from 270? Okay. Okay, so I'm about to explain that to you. Um, so it looks like the last time that you made a payment was in February, and that was only of $100. Correct. Um, so That's when the, the, the virus February. started to affect everyone, and especially me, because my products come from China. But go ahead. Okay. Um, so then when you paid that $100, there was a balance, a remaining balance, on your account of two thirty seven fifty after you paid the $100. Um, so from there, another balance came on top of that. March right, which is already disconnected. February to March was already disconnected. Okay, so that brought your balance to full six thirteen. Can be, can be. So, that that balance, that that total cannot be added because the service was disconnected. There was no service being provided. People are hurting and they're adding charges. Go ahead. Okay. So in April, you will put on that Comcast assistance program. So from April to May, your April to May bill, they were only charging, well, Comcast was only charging twenty nine ninety five. So I, I never, I never agreed, month, I never agreed to any of that. Show okay. me, show me where so my what signature Comcast is for that. Okay. So what Comcast was doing um, to help our customers out, they were putting on this Comcast assistance plan, plan which helps them out that only charges them twenty nine ninety five. Never was informed of that, never was told any of that. I never had any kind of information or, or notice of any of that. Mm -hmm. So yes, so you're supposed to receive an email or um How could I get an call. email if the my, my my Wi-Fi was disconnected by you guys? Or a call um, informing you of this nope. balance, Nothing. informing you of this new change. Okay? So when you were put on that Comcast assistance program and for the months of April, May, May to June, June to Ju to July, and then July to August. So for these months you were only charged twenty nine ninety five, but it was on top of the balance that you already incurred from <laughs> that March to April. So they yeah. disconnected in April. And, or March, whatever, February, March. And all that time that I have not had access, I have not been able to use any of it because 
the free Wi-Fi was disconnected. The uh, office uh, uh, equipment was picked up, so there was no Wi-Fi coming into the location, and they want to charge for that bill. For all that time that I was not, did not have your equipment, and did not have any Wi-Fi coming into the location. And of any kind, even the Wi-Fi, the, the free one, I've been blocked off of. Okay. I'm glad I'm glad we record this because this is this is crazy. I mean this this is this is ridiculous. Go ahead. Alright, so what's what's what what is the ransom that Comcast wants to for me to be able to, like I said, have a chance at surviving this pandemic and maybe saving my business. Okay. Um, so if you're saying like what were they going to help, that Comcast assistance program was what Comcast did to help. Um, they only charged you the twenty nine ninety five for those months. Yes, they charged me twenty nine um, ninety five for right. months that I did not use. So how did that help me? Because I did not have the service. So okay. how did I how did I didn't have the equipment to receive the service. So how can I be billed for that? Okay, so um, instead of your regular monthly rate, they were only charging... <laughs> yes, but the regular monthly rate was disconnected. Okay. They cannot charge a discounted rate for something that's disconnected. They cannot charge a regular rate. They cannot charge a discounted rate because it's disconnected. Do you hear yourself? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense to you personally? That makes sense to you? Mm-hmm. Yes. It makes sense that, that, you, that, that, that if you owe a bill, the company disconnects you and they're charging you for still using a service that you're not using. And you think that's right? Well, they, well Comcast doesn't charge on usage, they charge on service. So even though you were not you know, using it or you were trying to be equipment, um, you didn't cancel the account, so they still charge for that service. You canceled the account. Comcast canceled the account. What do you mean I didn't cancel the account? The second you took it, the equipment, that account was canceled. You're saying that I have to physically make another call to you guys? Do you make it that convoluted and that and that difficult so that you can continue to charge people? Yes, because the account was still active. So it was still active. So you continue to rip people off during a pandemic that they know people aren't working, that everything will shut down, that you disable my free Wi-Fi access, you disable my business Wi-Fi access, and you feel you still can charge me for all that time. Yes, sir. Hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you acknowledged that. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else that I can assist you with today? Well, yeah, I need to get I need to get some kind of access. So I need to know what the ransom is. How much uh, 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 does Comcast want to be paid? Does it have to be the full amount, the six hundred dollars that they're uh, 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 adding and, and multiplying and using this creative uh, 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 alternative math to reach that number and billing me for time that I had no use and no access and no ability to take any? Let me, let me speak to a manager, please. Let, let me speak to a manager. I, I, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's crazy. That there is that is not the past due amount. Past due amount is two months. That's it. There's no past due amount beyond that. So let me speak to your manager, please. Okay. Then be able to get to one immediately because we are working remote. What I could do, I could put in a request for it, but I know that it would take 24 to 48 hours to get back to you. <laughs> what great customer service! My goodness, I'm so glad this is being recorded. I'm so glad this is being recorded and, and streamed because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I'm a 61-year-old man that you are blocking me from the free Wi-Fi, right? Because we can't block the free So why, why can't I get the free Wi-Fi on my laptop? I'm not really sure. Because you're blocking it. Because the other two devices that are not registered with Comcast, I can get it. So that means that they're actively going out of the way to, to, to harm people. Because we owe them money during the pandemic, that we were shut down and not being able to work, not be able to do business. 
that's 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 the America that 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 uh, 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 has been allowed to to, to to happen, where companies can take advantage of, of of citizens during a pandemic, and add to their bill and multiply and charge additional fees that for services that they don't even get. And you feel that's right. Remarkable. So, to speak to a manager, I have to wait 24 to 48 hours. Yeah, I would have to put in a request. So, if I have an emergency tonight that I get attacked and my alarms don't go off and I get killed inside my shop because I don't have Wi Fi, you're okay with that, and Comcast is okay with that. Okay. Okay. I, would, I would imagine so, because I, you're blocking my free Wi Fi. I can't even get free Wi Fi. So I, I've been saying it all along. We're not in this together. That we're in, all, we're in this together doesn't apply to all of us. If you're black, you're Latino, and you're poor, that doesn't apply to you. Because these companies have already pre-written into their contracts the ability to take advantage of people. And since they're pretty much the only option, they're all monopolies, you have to, you have to do what they want. But I want to know that I'm not going to pay that 600 or whatever dollars that you are trying to rip me off and, 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 and it, it's a vile attack. It's, it, it's an, uh, uh, adding charges for services that were not rendered, which is unconscionable. But unfortunately, this is the country we're in. Black lives don't matter. Latino lives don't matter. The only matters that the only lives that matter are those of the rich people that own these corporations, because you they'll kick you out in a heartbeat if they don't have their their profits. They'll fire you without even thinking about it. So I recommend you try and find a better company to work for. You may think they're a good one, but they're 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 harming people actively, going out of the way to harm people right now. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. Be safe. Uh, please put in the uh, supervisor uh, call or whatever. See if they even call back. I doubt it. Because if they're recording all this, they're not going to want to talk to me. <laughs> so, can you do that? Yes, sir. I'm making a note right now. Okay, fine. And you have a great day as well. You too. Huh? Bye-bye. There you go. They, 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 they've continued to add to the bill. Remarkable. <laughs>